everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day so far. I thought it would be a fun change of pace in my videos to show y'all some of my favorite magazine picks to give you some ideas of reading materials that you might enjoy if you like watching my videos. So I will preface this by saying I'm a big time reader. I love books, I love magazines, newspapers, anything like that. So it's no surprise I have quite a few magazine picks to show y'all. So the first one I'm gonna show you is something that I've subscribed to for a while now. And this is Allure magazine. I'm trying to make sure my address isn't on these. Um, I like Allure for the beauty tips. I think that they have a lot of really good beauty articles in here, different fashion ones. Um, I mainly enjoy Allure just for the beauty. But yeah, I feel like Allure's a really good one if you're kind of a girly girl. The next one that I really like, I have no idea how I'm subscribed to this one. I wonder if my mom just signed me up and didn't tell me. That's kind of creepy, Mom. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not sure if I just joined this online for free. I really don't know why I'm getting this, but it's really good. This is called All You, and it's one of these magazines you can pick up in the grocery store at the checkout aisle. I know I've seen these at Kroger. This is really awesome. They've got savings ideas. They have coupons. They have recipes. They have beauty. They have health, decorations, um... God, they have, like, everything. It's really awesome. They even have, like, really good beauty articles. So if you've never checked out All You before, this is a really good one to pick up if you're just in line at the grocery store. I think this is a good magazine. Like I said, I'm not sure why I'm getting these, but I hope they don't stop because I'm enjoying them. <laughs> the next one that I'm really enjoying is Glamour. Out of Allure and Glamour, gosh, I kind of feel like Allure is my preference just because they have more beauty themes whereas glamour tends to have a little bit more in the way of clothing which i might not you know be as into but they have really good beauty articles they have good hair articles and body exercise ideas to get in shape so i like glamour a lot too this is another really good one and they also have really good articles on like how to pick out the best shoes and bags and things to go with your outfit. So that's another reason I like Glamour. But my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite magazine of all time. I've subscribed since I was 17, which has embarrassingly been 10 years now. This is Cosmopolitan. Um, it's a little bit more of a... Um, bedroom themed magazine. We'll just go with that. But they also have really great articles on different looks to try, hair products, eye makeup, beauty, body care, skin care, all sorts of really awesome ideas. So I love Cosmo and I will say one of the overlooked things about Cosmo is in the back of each issue they also put a couple of recipes and I've actually found, let's see if I can find it. I can't find it right now. I've actually found some of my absolute favorite recipes that I like to cook with as a result of Cosmo, believe it or not. So, yeah, Cosmo is my absolute favorite as the girly magazines go. As far as the dog-themed magazines go, I really like Modern Dog. I think it's just a really good magazine. They've got ideas on tricks that you could teach your dogs. They've got training ideas. They have articles on nutrition and food and exercise and kind of how to break bad habits and targeting different things for your breed. So I think Modern Dogs are really good when it's my favorite just because I feel like it's kind of up to date with today's like dog handler. And yeah, the articles are just really insightful and good. So if you have a chance to find Modern Dog, this is a good one. This one is from from Barnes and Nobles, but I've also found it at Whole Foods of all places, so something to think about. Another home, homey type magazine that I really enjoy is Real Simple, and the reason that I like this one is because they have a lot of great organizational ideas in here. They also have lots of recipes, decor ideas, and beauty ideas too, so I feel like Real Simple is a very good one. This is good for all ages. I think any woman could enjoy this one, as well with the All You magazine. I feel like that could be targeted towards anyone. Another one that, as a florist, I like because it gives you different design ideas on bouquets and different techniques and stylings. This is not based in the U.S. This is based out of the U.K. This is called Wedding Flowers, and obviously I like it because it gives you different ideas on bouquets and things of that nature. So if you are a florist, 
This is a really good one to pick up. You can find it at Barnes & Noble's. I just like this because my opinion on a lot of the design techniques and stuff that's being used, if it's popular in Europe, it's going to eventually come to America. That's typically how it works. It's just, you know, a fact of life for fashion and things of that nature. Seems to be the trend, too, for flowers. So I like to have ideas from other countries to see what's popular there, too, so then you can bring it home and you bring it to your design studio or your home-based job, and you can kind of sell that and promote it. So you kind of get the edge on things like that. So that's why I love this magazine. If you're a florist, pick this up. It's amazing. Okay, the next magazine that I'm also enjoying, this is so fun, this is Dogs USA. I really like this one, and it kind of has different articles on different breeds. It's got different training articles, health articles. Personally, Modern Dog is a little bit better on some things, but I feel like this is better as far as nutrition and breed overviews go. So, I got this one actually because it has a toller on the cover. Look, looks like kind of like Rosie. Um, reason being, I'm having a lot of issues with Rosie right now, and as a trainer, that's worrisome because if I can't fix it, yeah, there's a good chance it might not be fixable. But there's some different articles in here I kind of wanted to read through, and they even had a spotlight just on tollers. So I thought it would be worth a shot to pick up and read through. And if you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you'll know what I'm talking about with Rosie. But anyways, I thought this would be helpful and maybe a little insightful just to see. It doesn't hurt to try. And if you are a guy or a girl that just kind of likes to stay informed, this is a really good one. My cousin turned me on to this one about two years ago. He gave me a subscription. This is not something I would typically reach for. This is The New Yorker. And this is not a magazine. This is an old cover, by the way. This is not something I would, on my own, typically pick up and read. But I think that's the reason he got it for me. is because it says, you know, just open it, read it. You know, it kind of enlightens you in different ways. It puts articles out there that you wouldn't expect and explains things from different points of view. And I love the illustrations, too. And I have to say, after having a subscription to it for about a year, this was an awesome awesome gifts. If you're looking for a really cool gift to give someone, a New Yorker subscription is a good idea. And they're, now the only problem I did have with it is they are weekly. As you can see, this is an old one. But I had issues reading them in time just because you get busy with other things in your day-to-day -day life. So this was one where I was constantly trying to read one and catch up before I went to the next one. So sometimes I would skip articles, but overall, this is a really good one. It just kind of makes you think of things from different viewpoints, which I feel is a good thing in life. The next magazine that I really enjoy, this is really geared more towards therapy handlers. This is Interactions. It's from Pet Partners, or it used to be Delta Society. This is the group that Ranger and I work with. He's a registered therapy dog, for those of you who know. Now, his assessment's coming up at the end of the month, so say a quick prayer for us because he's going to retest with a new group. So, wish us luck. But, anyways, this is a really good article. It's all about therapy dogs, and it's about different stories and viewpoints and different articles on handlers and their therapy dogs. And, yeah, I love this just because as a therapy handler, it's good and it's encouraging to read stories from other handlers on how they interact with their dogs and the positive difference that they make in the lives of others. So it's just a really uplifting, encouraging type of magazine, even if you're not a therapy handler. It's just nice to kind of read these stories and kind of keep up to date. So I like that one for that reason. And the last two I do not subscribe to anymore just because I feel like three subscriptions are enough. I have Cosmo, Allure, and Glamour. And I've let Glamour go out. But um, so really I'm just getting Cosmo and Allure now. And I think I'm going to subscribe to Modern Dog just because I reach for it every time I'm at the store. But the next one I wanted to show is Marie Claire. I feel like this is a really good magazine. My only gripe is they really don't show many affordable options as far as clothing goes. And, you know, spending like 2000 on a dress or something every time you're looking through the page, not showing something really affordable is not really an option. But they do have really good makeup tips. They have gorgeous skin tiered skincare tips and makeup and hair care. So I feel like it's good for that. I personally just prefer Allure and Glamour to Marie Claire, but I do feel like it's a good magazine. And then last but not least is M Magazine. 
those of you who watch my videos will probably either love it or hate it, but I like Oprah. I like her magazine, and I feel like it's good because she features a lot of really good people in her magazine, people that, you know, are kind of making differences in the world and giving their stories on what they're doing to impact people in positive ways. She has a lot of articles on day-to-day -day life, like packing, organizing, things like that, hair care, makeup, home decor, and another thing that she always features are exercise and health tips, cooking ideas that are healthy, so that's why I like this magazine. So, yeah, I hope this video gave you some ideas on different reading materials that you might enjoy. Most of this is geared towards women, but I do feel like anyone can enjoy The New Yorker. So, hopefully y'all found this helpful, and the next time you're at the magazine section of a store near you, you'll maybe pick up something different that you wouldn't typically reach for, kind of enlighten yourself a little bit. So, I hope y'all found this helpful, guys. I'll see you in another video soon. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Bye.